there's a scene where Wanda is in the hospital and Ronald Reagan is on the television and I throw my food at him because basically he's spewing bull crap. There's no story more heartening in our history than the progress that we've made toward the brotherhood of man that God intended for us. I can say not much has changed. Um, it's ironic that we, we watch a show that's a period piece and it's set in the 80s, but a lot of that is still going on today from police brutality, from drugs, even from Franklin and his family getting into real estate. <laughs> it's right here. This is what it's all about, you know? Family. Let's make this a real black family just eating at the top of this city. This Franklin's trying to move in a legit way. He's trying to focus on his real estate business. What's that development? Hey, Betty, there's a property on PCH I want you to look into. Double lot, two miles north of the Malibu Pier. No matter how rich you get in a kind of drug trafficking game, it's never sustainable. And so the character is really trying to figure out a way to foresee a way to create sustainable wealth. And one of the main ways to do that in America is real estate. You get you a plot of land in Los Angeles and you can change your future and the future of your generations coming forward. I want to build us a compound, a place for us to start our legacy. He wants to be a businessman and in order to keep what he has, he has to do what he doesn't want to be doing. In season five, it is more about his self-preservation and we're not seeing how it deals with the community as much. If you want to go fast, you go alone. If you want to go far, you go together. What if I want to go fast and far? Like, this is a rotten season in that regard. We took a moment to live it up, to show them spending their money and just how power hungry they are. They've bought into capitalism, whole stock. One thing that makes the show really interesting is that we also see not every black person thinks the same thing about how you get ahead. Including the downtown project. First space that we're gonna have, it's Warehouse Flex, right? We're really excited about where it's located and all the options that it gives us. It gives us a lot of opportunities for, you know, growth. Something happens when money becomes more meaningful to a person than integrity. And it is prevalent in our society. Of course, we're, we're speaking about crack cocaine because that is the story that we began with. But if we're simply talking about one finding success by oppressing others, we can talk about it in so many different ways. For many, many years, African Americans and other people of color have been literally redlined from having property in certain areas. The real estate market is very politically complicated in Los Angeles. Nowadays, it really has to do with the gentrification of neighborhoods. Gentrification dispossesses the individuals who are already residing in the area. It's not about how it's been used or what's important about it. It's instead sort of like a stock. How can I flip it, tumble it, and make it into a whole new, brand new bag? Dodger Stadium is built on Chavez Ravine, where they literally removed forcibly an entire community so you could build Dodger Stadium. The freeways. A lot of them cut through communities of color. I mean, look at what's happening to Inglewood right now. SoFi football stadium is, is built and it's thriving and it's fabulous. And the working class people, the people who have struggled to make Inglewood home are being pushed out. Pushed out to where? That is systemic oppression. I think Snowfall does a really good job of setting up how these problems have persisted and continue to be with us.